Thank you, Dr. Klatt. What I want to tell you today is, uh, and it's also a self-serving need, my, my aim in life is to break the barrier of aging and to live to be 120 years with the same bodily functions I have today. And I think that's the aim of most of the people who, who are here today. Most of this research has come out of Alzheimer's disease. As you well know, um, um, oxidative stress kills the nerve cells and interrupts transmission of the impulse. So while I was working for the last 15 years on Alzheimer's disease, we started looking for the most potent uh, antioxidants in the world. And so what I want to tell you today is how nature can teach you about something that medical science has totally overlooked. I shouldn't say totally, but has overlooked. There is no question that the people in this audience know the link between inflammation and disease. Examples are diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, ulcers, and even aging. The word should be prevention, not intervention. And I'm not going to teach you things you know, but I want you to think logically how the basis of the pharmaceutical industry brought us to intervention, not prevention. We're going to talk about a weapon. That weapon has been in nature for hundreds of millions of years. I call it the humble mushroom. It has a lot to teach us. A hundred million years. That's an evolutionary perfect species. And I wonder how many of us know about mushrooms. Think about it. A plant has no enzyme structure in its roots. It can only absorb what's in the ground. And what's in the ground are the enzymes and the processes that have been put there by mushrooms. It's a food matrix. It's a composite of naturally occurring food components. Each of you is a complex biologic organism. It's totally illogical to think that we could just extract a substance like vitamin C from an orange, which in itself is a total biologic organism, and have that vitamin C work inside the human body. And practitioners, including myself, from medical school and NYU School of Medicine, have been taught to focus on single nutrients, chemical entities that treat disease, scurvy, vitamin C deficiency. That was the basis of vitamin C. We don't see scurvy too much anymore, but everybody loads themselves up on vitamin C. Point missed, we're a complex biological organism. The approach by medicine and the pharmaceutical industry has been commercially driven and is too simplistic. 24-month glucosamine arthritis inhibition trial failed in osteoarthritis. NIH study, Journal of the American Medical Association, women achieve no benefit from vitamin E and stroke or heart attacks. Even beta carotene, if you're a smoker and you take beta carotene, you don't reduce the incidence of lung cancer, you increase the incidence of lung cancer. Look what the pharmaceutical industry is making. 810 million on glucosamine and its products. 210 million on vitamin E. This is just in the United States two years ago. 75 million on beta carotene. It's over a billion dollars being spent on supplements that probably don't get where they're supposed to go. So whole foods have a health benefit. There's a health interface with the body in whole foods. And it's, it's a trite remark, but you are what you eat. And people have been around a long time in the evolutionary space, but we're eating terribly today. Cell membranes, mitochondria, genetic machinery like DNA are subject to damage from free radicals. And I'm sure you all know what free radicals are, but we'll quickly go through it. Free radicals are defined as molecules that have lost an electron. They're in a state of electrical imbalance. Just to, as a surgeon, when I cut your skin, your skin grows together. What makes the skin cells stop growing? Have you ever thought about that? Cancer cells don't stop growing. It's electrical balance. When they touch one another, that zeta potential is equal on the both sides. Cancer cells have a lower zeta potential than normal cells. They keep growing. Tissue reaction 
And all cells contain hydrogen peroxide. You know what that is. That's a free radical. Put it on your pants, and you'll know quickly why it's a free radical. Arthritis, laminitis in horses, bowel disease, cancer, heart disease. And I mention horses because you're going to see some unusual data in animal research. 